William, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure I am. I just was catching my breath before the big holiday rush. <laughs> well, we'll help you get in the swing of the holidays next on Garden Time. Well, welcome to Garden Time, and we are out here at Garden Gallery Ironworks where they are celebrating their annual Christmas open house today. And later in the show, we'll be talking with Don Sprague about everything that's going on and the 25% off. Also coming up on the show today, we will discuss winter bird care. But coming up first, some holiday plants that will last you all winter long. Well, so I am comfortably sitting here with Peter at the Owls Garden and Home in Wilsonville, and I get this idea that we're going to be talking about houseplants because we're kind of surrounded at them, and where, where is their location here in Wilsonville? We, we actually are. So the, uh, we have a, a, what we call the loft at Wilsonville. It's upstairs, and uh, we have a full selection of houseplants up here. Plus, we do uh, furniture up here, patio furniture. We have grills. So yeah, it's a great space so, uh, for people to come up and take a look. It really is, it's a beautiful space. And so let's talk about some of these beautiful plants that you've picked out for us. Um, I see them as almost like holiday gifts as well, which is a good idea if you're buying yeah, plants. Yeah, it is. So, you know, we sell the house plants year round, but you know, during the holidays, you know, uh, so a lot of house plants are great holiday gifts, right, you know. Right. You know, you've got, obviously you've got poinsettias, which are actually great house plants. You can keep them year round. Um, but we've got all sorts of other kind of houseplants that you can mix in with your you know, your other holiday displays. You've got your traditional Christmas cactus over here, um, which uh, gives you great blooms, come in an assortment of colors. And, and what a great name. And what a great <laughs> name, cactus. yes. And cact it's cactus uh, are, and succulents are very easy to take care right. for. You just need bright light and um, every year it'll explode into bloom during the holidays. Uh, you've got cyclamen, You've got uh, the uh, caladiums, a bromeliad. Most people don't think of uh, uh, the bromeliads as, a, as kind of the holiday gift, but look at this bright red color. Right, you stick it right. in a nice tin like this, and you've got a gift to go right there that you can take to a holiday party. So I, I wanted to ask you a couple questions though. On these plants here, you know, cyclamen, which is the one right here that you pointed out, cyclamen is, is a beautiful plant. There's varieties that are hardy outside anyway, and so to be able to ha to have it as a house plant and celebrate the holidays with it seems like a double bonus as yes. well. Yes, yeah, and you can keep it year round, and if it's happy, it'll probably rebloom for you right, every right. every year. As will these. Now tell me again this name because I always forget it. I just want to call it flamingo flower. Well, but I uh, <laughs> well these are anthuriums. <laughs> anthuriums, and, yes, yes. Um, and they uh, they are uh, e fairly easy indoor house plant. They uh, they come from the tropics, so they need it hot, they need it warm, but right. uh, they have these fantastic kind of waxy blooms. And they last for weeks, the blooms do. They're just Yes, amazing. weeks and weeks and weeks. They come in white, reds, pinks, even kind of smoky purples. Yeah, so yeah, if, if you've got a bright window, keep them evenly moist, real easy. And this cherry red, I mean, does that not look, say the holidays well, in, or what? in the winter dark days, it always makes me happy. And of course, you guys do have a nice selection of orchids as well. And mm -hmm. who doesn't love an orchid? Mm -hmm. And you know, we've got a great selection of pots. We've got kind of holiday tins and some other containers. Um, we also have I was just going to say, but you've got to tell me about these. <laughs> yeah, so this is your classic uh, amaryllis bulb. Um, and you can you can do them the traditional way where you'd pot them in potting soil and they come in and they come up and they and bloom. These actually um, come with their own little stand and they're done in uh, either the, in some in glitter. Uh, this one kind of looks like snow. These don't need to be in soil at all. You just set these on your uh, on your counter, and they'll come up and bloom. And they grow and bloom. And and then you know they're 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 very useful because there's no investment into a pot or soil or anything like right. that. It's, right, 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 right. right uh, what there. a great gift to give somebody. Right, you know? right. And again, all of this stuff can be used in your own home decor 
and make it beautiful, including the, the right, traditional stuff. Right, 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 right. And they'll live, you know, after the holidays. Right, so, right. You know, you'll still have them. That's what's so <laughs> Which great. sometimes some of us feel that we're not going to even make it through. So this will help right. us get through all of that. Right, 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 right. Well, you know, if you've never been up here to the loft at the Wilsonville Owls, I suggest you do because you can find all kind of wonderful plants, even for the holidays. And then, of course, they have great house plants year round as well. So for more information about Owls, you can go to GardenTime.tv. We'll click you over to their website gather all that stuff up and go and celebrate the holidays all year long. Thank you so much, Peter. Oh, thanks for having me, William. Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. The seasons are definitely changing, but at Portland Nursery, the one thing that never changes is our commitment to you, our customer. Whether it's helping you get ready for the holidays or getting your garden ready for the next growing season, Portland Nursery has the experts to help you prepare. Stop by and see what's new for your home or garden, then take home something special for the season. Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people, at 50th and Stark or 90th and Division. Take the hard work out of yard work with the amazing new leaf hopper. It's so lightweight and easy to use and it goes where wheelbarrows can't. Simply fill, then fold, then funnel into yard containers or compost bags. It's perfect for carrying leaves, twigs, branches, and more. Use the leaf hopper to add mulch or gravel in no time. Get your leaf hopper today for only $19.99 plus shipping and handling online at easyhaultarp.com. All major credit cards accepted, that's easyhaultarp.com. Welcome to A&R Nursery, where you'll find premium quality plants at near wholesale prices. Come see our wide selection of beautiful shrubs, perfect for adding privacy to your yard. Check out our collection of colorful shade trees. And beginning November 29th, see an impressive assortment of living Christmas trees in both popular and unusual varieties. A&R Nursery, located between Woodland and La Center on Highway 99 at Tonjus Road. Go to arnursery.com for directions. I am at Blooming Junction and Ron, it's beginning to look a little bit like the holidays. Yes, it is. It's looking like Thanksgiving. Yes, and so centerpieces really, we can make them for Thanksgiving and then maybe even transition them to Christmas time. That's right. You're going to show us. So what do you got here for supplies? Well, as far as supplies go, what you want to start with is um, some florist um, foam, foam okay. or um, in the trade they call it oasis. Right. Um, comes in dry, a dry form or a wet form. You want to get the wet. Okay. It holds it better, plus your greens want it to be wet. Um, so I've had this soak for about 15 minutes. Um, you want a, um, a dish that's not going to leak. I picked up this plastic one at the dollar store. It was I thought great. it was cut glass. That's beautiful. It looks like cut yes, glass. very nice. Um, and then you secure it with some uh, florist tape. This is waterproof. All right. uh, just so it doesn't tip or fall. Um, and then um, you just start plugging in your greens. Okay. Um, here I have some noble fir and some pine. Um, you could really use anything that's uh, a woody evergreen um, if you didn't want to get into the, um, the conifer type stuff, um, at least for your fall. Right. Generally Christmas is a little bit more than nobles and things right, like right. that. But this is so nice. So really all you do is cut the pieces apart and kind of stick them into the oasis foam? That's right. And, and you want to try to maintain some kind of an oval shape. Okay. Um, the important thing to remember too, um, a lot of times people will make a centerpiece and they're sitting there doing it and they forget the backside. Well, you have sure. company on the backside too. <laughs> right. So you want it to be the same all the way around or at least decorated all the way around. Very nice. And so I see that you have all these pieces here that are maybe some um, you can add to this. So tell us a little bit about these pieces. Yeah, so once you get uh, this um, completely green, what you want to do is go ahead and, and add your um, accent pieces. Everything here I picked from my yard. Wow. Um, actually, I got it all this morning. Um, you know, and, and I think anybody with a yard has access to, at, to stuff they can use for um, specifically the fall uh, centerpiece. Oh, that sounds nice. And so we're going to get a little creative in the meantime, and we'll be back in just a few minutes with the finished product. Ron, 
Um, this came out so lovely, and it's just wonderful. And we found a couple tips that you were thinking of when we were making it. Yeah, as you're making it, especially putting the greens together, um, take a seat at the table that it's oh, going to be on sure. so you can look at it because you don't want your guests looking into the oasis and seeing just empty voids. Um, also, um, you know, we've added a candle here. This one's uh, um, got a little protection. This is probably better than a single candle, but you can certainly use a, a single candle also. All right. What about cutting? I know that you were very careful about cutting. Yeah, it's always best to cut long and then kind of um, put it how it would be in the Oasis before you make your final cut. Mm. Your cut's too short, you, have, you wasted a it's piece. It's wasted, and, yeah. yeah. And so I love that this would be for Thanksgiving. So how would we change it up, maybe to use it for into the Christmas time? Well, I would get rid of the thistles, uh, the browns and stuff like that. The lichens sure um, it can carry over. Um, um, some of the berries are going to be dried by, oh, by sure. then, get rid of mm -hmm. those. And then you can go ahead and just add pine cone picks, oh, sure. um, uh, maybe some fresh holly, things like Beautiful. that. Um, we added rosemary here. This is probably going to be done by then, too. Yeah, but and rose hips. I think everyone has rose hips or a right. neighbor. Maybe you can ask a right, neighbor right. if you can borrow some rose hips. Um, but, you know, and then I would love to make this, but I have nothing in my yard, and so how can you help me out? Well, we're going to be selling the uh, components to this. Um, we also have a class coming up nice. on the 23rd. Um, so if anyone's interested, please register by the 20th and uh, we'll be making these together. How fun. And really, you're open during the holidays for a lot of different decorating things that we can get for our porches. That's for right. Our we have a Christmas shop. Our, our store is open uh, full of our produce and specialty foods. Mm. And we're open late now during the week till 7. Nice, nice. So you can do your Christmas shopping, come out, and maybe you need some greens, or maybe you need that last-minute produce for your party. So go to gardentime.tv, and we'll click you over to their website, and you can get everything for your holiday decorations. You can also get produce and things. Wonderful place to start with the holidays. Thanks so much, Ron. Thank you. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. When I came to Capital Auto Group the first time, I was looking at a WRX, of course, never financing a car before. I was very limited when it came to, you know, putting money down and stuff like that, and they were able to really help me, and they worked diligently for two days, and they eventually got my payments to where they were reasonable and I could actually buy the car. They actually cared about me and what I wanted, not what they wanted. At Capital Subaru, I got it my way on the parkway. Kick off your holidays right with a stop at a vintage flea. One stop puts you right in the middle of a holiday shopping paradise. We have everything from new handcrafted gifts to unique vintage items, plus Christmas trees and wreaths. There is something to please anyone on your list. We even have holiday treats to enjoy. Check us out at Margie's Farm and Garden. Make your holiday shopping easier with a stop at a vintage flea. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. Locally grown, fresh from the farm, festive and magical, your holiday season begins at Owl's Garden and Home. Join us for our evening of lights. Shop Christmas ornaments from designer decorated trees, delight in poinsettias fresh from our local farm, try ice apples and other tasty treats, and enjoy savings throughout the store. Welcome the joys of the season with your whole family. Come celebrate our evening of lights at Owl's Garden and Home in Woodburn, Sherwood, Gresham, and Wilsonville. Well, it's the time for the November Tips with Jan McNeilan. So Jan, it's fall, but there's still things that we could be doing in our garden on these nice days. Well, yes, or in the greenhouse. Or in the greenhouse, rainy. definitely. Sure, I just want to make sure people knew that I still haven't killed off the Meyer lemon. It still looks good. Uh, I pruned it again and f fertilized it because it's the leaves were turning yellow mm -hmm. um, and it was reacting, it was outside, it was reacting to cold. And it's it'll do that cold. anyway. Sure. The other thing that we've been doing is um, making sure that any bulbs that we have around are planted. Yeah, it's time. Uh, that would be a good thing to do. It's right. not too late. Right, we wanna uh, see those tulips and those daffodils. That's for definitely. sure. Um, 
and that I drained the hoses the other day. We drained them and put them away. I turned the water off, but I actually forgot to turn the spigots back on uh -huh. to make sure those mm -hmm. are drained. And because if they're on with water in them, they'll crack the right, pipes. Right, right. Good idea. So that's another Good one that tip. we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, we also pruned back some of the taller roses about hip high so that the wind doesn't rock the root system, ah, the graft. Smart. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if, if you leave them, uh, they'll rock back and forth. Right, and enjoy those last blooms in the sure. house. Put yeah, the I actually have some in the house and I just saw a whole bunch of aphids on <laughs> one of them. <laughs> so they'll stay in where it's warm oh, for a little course. bit uh, while. Let's see, there was one, oh, one other thing. I put these on on purpose. Okay. For anybody who has arthritis or arthritic hands that the cold bothers them, these are just m minor pressure gloves and it really, really helps. They fit under your garden gloves if you want to, or they're washable and you can use them that way. And they really do help with that discomfort of the joints. Right, right, and in cold days, you're working in the garden. That right, can happen, right. definitely. So that, that's a good thing, too. And the other thing is I got a new, I got a new knee. Excellent, and we <laughs> wish you wonderful <laughs> success with your new knee, and she's gonna be dancing in no time. Well, you know, there's still things to be doing in our garden, or if we have greenhouses, and if you need more information about anything going on in your garden, you can go to the OSU website. There's always things to do in the garden, the garden tips, or go to gardentime.tv, and we have the same information, too. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful year, yep. and congratulations on your new name. Well, thanks. So I'm standing here at Garden Gallery Ironworks, and I'm with Don Sprague. And Don, today is your Christmas open house, and so we wanted to talk about some of the things that are happening. One of the things is Dean Krauser is coming back. Yes, you know, uh, our last event with Dean was so successful, Dean said, let's do it again. And, and we've had a lot of people who said, gee, if you ever do this again, please let us know. And fortunately, we're going to do it again. Wonderful. So he's coming back. And, you know, and on top of that, Dean has, going, is, has introduced some new greeting cards. So the little greeting cards, you know, there's different, different pictures of right. his paintings on it. And he's going to introduce 15 new cards wow. at our open house this year. Wow. So that is wonderful. That's, that's a reason right there to come out. But we're going to take a walk to another location and talk about all of the great things that are happening just for the Christmas open house too, all right? Yeah. Come on over. Okay. So on our walk over to this location, uh, you, we had discussed that we had both forgot to talk about something that you're getting really super special from Dean that you're going to be having here. Yeah, Dean has offered to give one of his original paintings wow. for a door prize. So uh, whenever you come to the open house, you can sign up for that free drawing on a door prize, an original piece of Dean, Art, Dean Krause's artwork. Well, wow, that's just another wonderful reason to come to this event today. So let's talk, though, about some actual holiday stuff that, that we have loved since last year. We first saw it. Snowmen and Christmas trees that are lit up. Yeah, these, these are backed by popular demand, let me tell you. And uh, We sold a lot of snowmen last year with the lights on them and they're all ready to go in your yard. They're, they're approved for outdoors. Wow. We've got, the, there's three snowmen, and then on the trees there'll be three set. there's three of those in a set. In a set too. And, and also, uh, we've got the living wreaths back by. Uh, I was gonna say, you guys are gonna have those again, right? Yes, and you know, and they're fresh made in Oregon, and so they're, they're just a great thing, a great gift to send. And then I noticed while wandering around in here that you have, because I've heard so many people talk about these, you have, uh, old kind of Christmas type churches that are lit up as well, right? Oh, we got a great selection of those in the farmhouse room and they're all lit up and they're just beautiful. So then let's talk about some of the other things that are actually occurring today because you're going to have some food and you're going to have that wonderful special drink that you guys have every oh, year. The here. Uh, cocktail <laughs> is backed by popular demand right? <laughs> and uh, you know it's going to be another great one for the holidays. But you know, Everybody that comes out here today gets a gift, don't they? Oh yes, it's a everybody gets 25% off your wow. total purchase, and everybody gets a the first 50 people. I believe Dorothy's going to be at the door greeting you with a free gift for the first 50 people. So and come early because we're opening early at nine o'clock. And that's 25% off even the Dean Krauser stuff. Absolutely, wonderful, your amazing. entire purchase. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you know, all you have to do for the information on everything that's going on, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over, come out, and have a wonderful Christmas open house. Thank you so much, my friend. I certainly appreciate it. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you too. Located in the heart of Willamette Valley's hops, hazelnut, and wine country, 
Caddy Farms is a beautiful option for your upcoming wedding or event. Enjoy the diverse venue the over 40 acre farm offers with manicured gardens, a private forest and spacious meadow, chef's kitchen and covered patios. All just five minutes off of I-5 in Aurora, Oregon. Caddy Farms, now booking upcoming events. Save big today on new appliances for your home during Black Friday deals at Standard TV and Appliance. Take advantage of store-wide savings up to 50% off, plus 12 months no interest financing. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on appliances, mattresses, and more during this incredible once-a-year sales event. Hurry in now for savings up to 50% off during our Black Friday deals going on now. Standard TV and Appliance, Oregon's largest independent appliance company. At Blooming Junction, fall isn't about winding down, it's about getting ready. In the garden, start the next season off right, right now. Fall plantings produce healthier, more robust, and drought tolerant plants than those planted in spring or summer. In the kitchen, get ready for the holidays with fresh, organically grown produce from our fields. So whether it's for the garden or for the kitchen this season, Blooming Junction is your place for quality, uncommon plants and produce for your home and garden. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. We all love to have birds in our backyards, and it's the change of the season, so what are we going to do about bringing birds into our yards? I'm with Mitch at Backyard Bird Shops in West Lynn, and so you have all the information, plus you gave me all these questions that keep me right on track. Thanks so much for the invitation out today. Well, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming out. We're happy to have you. Thanks. So, so what do we do now? It is fall, so how has it changed for us for feeding the birds? Well, fall and winter are, are a colder, wetter time of year, obviously here in, uh, in Oregon, in the Willamette Valley, and so uh, birds need to... Uh, they're going to want more uh, types of uh, food because there's less natural food available out there for them. There are fewer insects, there are fewer flower blossoms and so forth. So we try to help them and supplement them with uh, feeding them in our backyards. And what kind of birds are going to be coming? Well, there are some migratory birds that we wouldn't otherwise see. A number of sparrows, golden crown sparrows, white crown sparrows, the Oregon junco, which comes down from the mountains um, in the, on the autumn and winter. And they're here for that period of time to get food where they can actually access it. And then what should we be using? Is it a different kind of seed this time of year? Well, um, it's the same kind of seed that we use all year long, but black oil sunflower seed really is the hands down favorite that we um, like to tell customers about. <laughs> and so this is a wonderful seed. It has a high oil content, has a very soft shell that um, perching, small perching songbirds can um, crack very, very easily and they love it. So we have some of the cleanest seed in the area. It goes through a process, a three-step process of being clean. So it's very, very high quality. We go through a lot of it and we also deal with our um, supplier directly. So oh, we have a very great. good relationship with them. And that's what we um, say is the first and foremost one to choose. And then you have the black seed um, with the shells and without. That's correct, we do. We have um, something called the sunflower chips and these are right back here and it's out of the shell and it's just a cleaner way to feed and there's no mess of the shell on the you know fall, falling uh, um, sure. below feeders. Some people don't like that and also that seed can germinate when it's in the shell and some people don't like that as well. So we offer different options for folks um, uh, with the black sunflower seed. Ah, and then what kind of feeders do we use? Okay, great, good question. So during the wet season and uh, rain and snow and so forth, we want to make sure that we protect the seed, whether it's in the shell or out of the shell. So this is a wonderful feeder that has a dome over it. It's a typical tube type feeder right here. And it's built specifically for small perching songbirds, as you can see by the size of these perches. And we put black sunflower seed in there. This dome protects it from getting wetter than it would otherwise. And there's a nice tray right here with drainage holes in it that also protects or keeps the seed falling on the ground as much as possible. This is an excellent combination setup right here that we offer at all of our stores. Very nice. Mitch, I see that you have some other type of feeders here, and what are these for? Oh, okay. So um, this is what we call a tray feeder, 
and it has a screen and welded wire mesh on the bottom. So this is a great feeder for offering seed like millet that I talked mm -hmm. about before and cracked corn to those ground feeding birds. So this is wonderful because it lets that water go right through and it keeps the seed as fresh and as dry as possible. You can also put a dome over this if you wanted to keep it extra dry. So All highly right. recommend that. I'll hold that one. And that's and made out of cedar right there. It's nice. And, and what's that one? Yeah, this is a great feeder um, that we've carried for many, many years and it's a squirrel proof feeder. Uh -huh. so this is. <laughs> yeah, this is operated by weight. So once a squirrel gets on here, um, it closes these little ports or access to these ports. And but little birds are so light with their feathers and hollow bones that they can get on there and it doesn't <laughs> close that. So you can also put a little dome on here to keep it extra dry, and it's just as simple as that. And nice. this is a great little setup for um, keeping the squirrels out and feeding them elsewhere in your yard, perhaps, right, but catering to the to the perching songbirds. Ah, and I see another question on your list is about a roost, a roost feeder. No, I'm a sorry, roost pocket. a roost pocket. Yeah, exactly. And so what is that? So this is something that we've just started carrying the last couple of years, and it's really, really wonderful. And we've um, our customers like it for their birds as well. So really, it's a, a place for birds to take refuge during the inclement weather. Again, autumn, fall, and winter when it gets really blister, uh, uh, blustery. I should. Say <laughs> and cold and rainy, they can go into this at night. Um, if you put it in a somewhat out of the way area and just take refuge from that weather, so you can literally save lives by putting <laughs> little course. birds' lives by putting this out. And so um, that's a great uh, a great option for them. And they come in different uh, oh, and they're so cute. Uh, natural uh, <laughs> natural materials. So this has a little coconut shell on it right there. So these are really really nice and a great addition to your bird friendly yard. Definitely. Yeah. And then what about suet? Because I know that that's a different kind of bird maybe to feed the suet to. Yeah, there's some crossover with suet and so we have a, a lot of types of suet and there are some seed eating birds like chickadees and nuthatches and woodpeckers that will eat suet, but there's a lot of birds that are simply insect eaters. There are um, bush tits um, and some woodpeckers don't prefer seed, so they will come to this. So suet is a, a very um, cold, a great for cold weather feeding. It has a high fat content to it and this one right here, our Backyard Bird Shop brand, has insects in it, dehydrated insects <laughs> and a fat content between 80 and 98 percent. This oh. is high quality and our customers say their birds go crazy over and good it. nutrition. It, yeah. And then what about hummingbirds? Because we have one that stays here all winter, don't we? We do have one that stays here all winter. It's called the Anna's Hummingbird, just a very, very cute little hummingbird. Um, and they readily come to feeders during the um, during the winter because, again, no um, insects or very few insects available, no flower blossoms. So if you want to have loyal birds come into your feeder, <laughs> this is really a time to invite them. And it's very, very easy with a simple um, sugar water mixture to have them come to your feeders. So we highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It is, it is. Yeah. It is so much fun to have birds in our yards, even in the fall and winter. So if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the Backyard Bird Shop website or come into one of their stores. They're all around the Vancouver and the Portland area. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Judy. Nice it's to pleasure. see you. <laughs>